Hi guys and girls, welcome back to Watch The Time. So today I've got in my first Seiko Samurai. I've not done things by halves though, this is a King Samurai. So I hear you asking, what's the difference Simon? I'll tell you. So the difference between a King Samurai and a Samurai is the Samurai, generally it has hard lex crystal and an aluminium bezel, but the King Samurai has ceramic bezel and a sapphire crystal. And as you know with me, I do love a bit of sapphire crystal. Ceramic bezel, aluminium bezel, yeah, I would prefer ceramic bezel, but I would have taken aluminium. For me, I like a bit of sapphire crystal on my watch. These come in at £550. Uh, this is called the Manta Ray, because he's got the Manta Ray on the dial, and guys, it is something to behold. I bought, I did actually buy a Seiko Samurai, came across this, cancelled my order, then bought this. So... Yeah, it looks, it looks the business. I'll leave the model number in front of me as we speak. But guys, uh, yeah, I don't get paid. This, this this watch looks the business. Like I said, the specs, uh, the dial. I've said dials before on Seiko's are just different gravy, to be honest, in terms of what you what you get, what you pay for. This watch retails, I think it's £550. I managed to get it for £440. So make sure you shop about it. Do use the model number. Do have a little mooch about it and see what you can get it for. But um, yeah, I will leave a, probably at least at least probably two two different uh, places in which you can buy it. Uh, so, but obviously, as I say, there's no do shop about. Do try and get the best price for your money. Mine's a K version, not a J version. So do bear in mind you do often pay a little bit more of a premium for a J version. But for me, I'm quite happy to get a K version given the price difference sometimes. But guys and girls, thank you for tuning back in. I'll stop waffling, and without further ado, let's get the camera turned around and get on with it. Hi guys, so this is the watch. As I said in the brief intro, it's the Seiko King Samurai. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and be as impartial with this uh, unboxing and review as possible. Um, and as you guys know, it's a simulated unboxing. I have worn this for a few days and it's pretty, a bit of an understatement to say that I'm very happy with the watch. Let's just say that. Um, this is all the packaging you get. I bought mine from the watch shop. Uh, unfortunately though with the watch shop they do not sign their cards watch shop if you watch this please um this is a 550 pound watch i hasten to add i did a price match and you did it so thank you but please surely you can you can sign the cards this is just the manual for the movement that's inside my one has a 4r35 so they definitely give me the correct booklet for it it even comes with the watch shop information inside. I did check to make sure I didn't have my name, don't worry guys, let me just wipe the box. I do apologize, it looks a bit dusty in here. But that's the box you get, pretty pretty standard for this type of watch actually. Um, and when you open it up, you get a bit of material that normally goes over the watch, that's the sticker that I've taken off the back already. And as you can see, prospects save the ocean. And guys, as I said, this watch, just looks phenomenal. I saw it, I needed to get it. Um, and there's the tangs that come, the prospect save the ocean. And it also comes, so there's the model number, SRPF 79K1. So yeah, like I say, just um, kind of phenomenal really. Uh, feel really good about having the watch. But yeah, let's run through a bit more information and all the specs and stuff. So, yeah, there you go. Let me just take it off the tang. Um, as I say, this watch retails at £550 and I managed to get it for 440 and extremely happy. It's the first watch that I've had in a long time that I just haven't been able to stop looking at it. I've currently, I took it off yesterday just to try and give myself a bit of time away from it, come back to it, see how I feel. And, but yeah, so this is, this is the watch. Um, so just just so the, the the movement inside is an automatic 4R35 movement. You won't be able to see that simply because it does have a stainless steel case back. The case material, crown guards, crown, stainless steel, uh, the case back, pin buckle clasp, catcher, and the bezel aside from the insert, all 316L stainless steel. The case thickness of this watch is 13.7 millimeters. The case diameter from the eight to the two measures in at 44.4 millimeters. When you go from the nine to the three o'clock position, taking into consideration the crown, it becomes 48.1 millimeters. The lug width 
is 22 millimeters and the lug to lug tip to tip is 48.6 millimeters so a bit of heft but because the lug to lug is not too big it doesn't wear massive on the wrist if you see what i mean as i already alluded to a moment ago the i'll do it this way so you can read it the case back style is a stainless steel case back and just sort of bit of information on there just denoting some of the specs that i'll run through now special edition I think that must mean this is the 704th watch of, of the ones they're going to produce. It's not a limited edition, but it's just a special edition. And that's the case back and it's also screwed down. The bezel <coughs> type is a unidirectional bezel, 120 click, and it is a ceramic bezel, guys. Ceramic bezel. Uh, let me let, yeah, let you have a little quick listen to it. And as you probably can see, it lines up perfectly. Very, very nice alignment. Uh, ceramic bezel, 120 click. It's a ratchet style bezel. Um, again, normally what you get with Seiko, they're pretty standard bezels really. Um, the, the crown is a sterile crown and it is, it is screwed down. Uh, I will show you that in a bit more detail when we look at the dial uh, a bit more thoroughly. The strap material on this is a silicon strap and guys it is beautiful um i'm not a big fan i've not been a big fan and i've been a bit outspoken in the past about their their straps but yeah guys this is fantastic i even like the little bit of detail underneath just to allow those sort of perforations just allow your wrist to breathe that bit easier and it also has a pin buckle clasp and actually guys i really like this clasp uh, very solid good brushing on it good size and also the tang uh, I've not really liked metal tangs or stainless steel tangs before, but this holds fantastically well and it holds everything in place. Yeah, very nice. Um, I'm impressed. The crystal covering that dial, guess what? Sapphire crystal, beautiful. It has got some AR coating on it as well. Um, again, sapphire crystal uh, on a Seiko at this sort of price range. Yeah, I'm happy. Very, very happy. Uh, the water resistance, as you probably spotted down at the six o'clock position, is 200 meters, so that would give you 20 atmospheres of water resistance. And the weight, as if by magic, will appear in the top right-hand corner. It's in and around 125 grams, give or take. But let's have a look at the, the dial in a bit more detail, because the dial on this is, is stunning. So what you have is a raised rehout on the outer edge with a minute track on it. Inside that, you've got applied buttons, You've got single buttons everywhere except for the 12, 6, and 9. You've got a double button at the 12, um, slightly larger buttons at the 6 and 9 o'clock. At the, at the 3 o'clock position, you do have a date window that's also covered by the Cyclops. Excuse me, I didn't mention the Cyclops. That's also Sapphire Crystal, or at least it seems to be because I did test it and it, had, it was positive for Sapphire. Um, inside that, you've got Seiko. Looks like it's been written onto the dial, as is... Above the six o'clock position, you've got the X for the prospects. Automatic divers, 200 meters, just above there at the six o'clock position. The dial, what the dial looks like to me, guys, I could be wrong, but what it looks like for my eyes, it looks like the ocean when it's sort of at nighttime, not quite dark, but dusk, if you like. And what it looks like, you've got three manta rays that are swimming. You've got one there, one there, and one over there. It just looks beautiful. The more I look at this dial, the more I'm just transfixed. It just looks like the ocean is shimmering and underneath you can just see these manta rays going about their business. Absolutely phenomenal. And as I've said before, dials by Seiko uh, for the price, you just don't, you don't really get any better to be honest than Seiko and dials. And the movement, as I said, is a 4R35 movement. If you undo it uh, to the first position, it will pop. If you take it out to the second, or excuse me, the, the, the second, yeah, second position, you can scroll through the date and if I take it all the way out, I'll, I'll bring it to sort of like the 20 past eight position um, because then it'll give you, actually no, I'll do it at 10 past 10. So it lets you see what I'm talking about, the other manta ray that was just hidden. So either side of the X, you've got all this stuff going on. And as I say, the dial with this watch, guys, is just phenomenal. The knurling on the, on the crown is done exceptionally well. No issues in terms of grabbing it, screwing it, unscrewing it. And yeah, just really, really, I'm blown away by this watch. I saw pictures of it. I've seen a couple of reviews and I was like, still unsure. You know what it's like. You don't know what a watch is going to be like until you have it. But yeah, guys, absolutely blown away 
But um, yeah, that's the dial. Let me pop it on the wrist for you very quickly, give you an idea of what it looks like on my wrist. Camera. My wrist is just above a seven inch wrist um, and I, I will wear it. I'll show you, just give me one second. I wear it there. There's four more levels going that way. And as you can see, there's six going the other way. So it will fit wrists all the way up until probably nine, nine and a half, all the way down to maybe five and a half. There's lots of scope here, guys, in terms of what it's going to fit. And that's what it looks like on my wrist. As a, Yeah, so like I said, it's not a small watch, but where the lug to lug isn't too big, I think it hugs the wrist nicely. Definitely got presence and definitely quite weighty given the fact it weighs in around 125 grams. It's only on a rubber strap. I hasten to add, if you put it on a stainless steel strap, which... I do intend to do actually, um, I do intend to buy pro um, a bracelet probably from Long Island watches, I want to get a, one of the, I need to get a couple of their bracelets but I do want to get a samurai bracelet for this um, at some point in the future so I can sort of swap the bracelets out depending on what I want to do. But yeah that's the dial, that's, that's what it looks like on wrist but that will take me on to now what I think is pants and pucker about the watch. I always start with pants, I want to go on a high with pucker, so what I think is pants very difficult guys, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is a watch that has had me transfixed and I've been wearing it for about a week now. Uh, the only thing that's bothered me really about, about the watch, and it's not really the watch as such, it's the packaging that comes in. Um, the package is not too bad, but inside it doesn't fit properly. So when I got it, it was all over the place because the pillow is too small for where the section they put it in. So if I could say one thing, it'd probably be the packaging in terms of um, and I've seen it on other videos, when you get these Seikos, you don't know how they're going to be in the box because the pillow doesn't fit the box. So yeah, I'd say in terms of sorting out maybe the pillow and the packaging, just have that fitting better so your watch isn't all over the place when you come to unbox it. But for the time being, guys, that's all I've got for, for, for pants. But I will be doing a long-term review because this, this baby is going nowhere. <laughs> so what I think is pucker, strap yourselves in a bit longer. Uh, the Sapphire Crystal, you know me. I love Sapphire Crystal. I can't get enough. Uh, I'd have it on all of my watches, to be perfectly honest. Uh, the dial, which is probably, well, not probably, this is the star of the show. Even though you get a, a ceramic bezel and stuff, Sapphire Crystal, the dial on this is absolutely incredible. I don't know that I've seen a better dial, to be honest. I've seen a few other dials, but this dial, in terms of the layers, in terms of how it plays with the light, in terms of how it just looks like the ocean from different angles, different parts, yeah, phenomenal. Uh, the loom, yeah, fantastic loom. They have their own green proprietary loom that they use. Yeah, phenomenal. Bezel in terms of the alignment, in terms of being ceramic. Yeah, phenomenal. Case shape. Um, my friend Adrian at the Samurai and Time sort of got me onto Samurais. And you know what? I can fully understand why he likes Samurai so much. The case shape is intriguing. And I like the angular, aggressive angles of the case. I think it looks beautiful. Uh, the silicon strap and buckle is what I'd, what I'd also surmise as well. The, 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 the silicon strap is phenomenal. I didn't think that Seiko had it in them to make this, this sort of strap, to be honest. Very similar to uh, the Seiko Samurai I got off Adrian, but I'd say this is even slightly better. Sorry, fella. This is what I think. And the buckle, as I said, the pin buckle clasp and the buckle, everything, everything going on with the catcher, yeah, this all, all, all works nicely. So just to surmise what I think is Paka, the sapphire crystal, the dial, loom, bezel, case shape, silicon strap and buckle in terms of what I think is pucker. And would I recommend this watch? Of course I would. Like I love this watch. This watch has not become my favorite watch. It's a watch that has taken me fully by surprise and I just think it looks beautiful. Honestly, this watch, there is nothing not to like. If you want to dive out with a, a, dial, like a dial that's got a bit of, um, personality and like I said this this watch has developed so many names obviously it's a save the ocean it's called a manta ray uh, obviously it's a samurai there's a lot to like about this watch in the specs the only upgrade maybe I'll talk about in the future will be the movement in terms of possibly going up up a movement but um, other than that yeah phenomenal I definitely recommend this watch but guys let me know what you think about this watch and maybe have any other watches you may want to see on the channel and as always say don't forget to like and subscribe and always watch the time. Take care guys, all the very best.